Today I'm going to show you how to create detailed pixel effects by just using Photoshop's bitmap conversion tool. By configuring a few simple settings you can easily create retro style artwork just like old 8-bit game screens. I'll first show you how this effect can be applied to photographs, but stick around till the end to also see how this effect helps to create some really cool digital text effects. This first example uses a portrait photograph from unsplash.com. It has good contrast which is key for achieving good results when it's converted into a bitmap. In order to convert the image into a bitmap it first needs converting to grayscale, so go to image, mode and grayscale, then back to image, mode and bitmap. The output option is what will determine how detailed your bitmap pattern will be, but there's no way of figuring out what value to use except a little trial and error. Let's go with 15 to begin. The method is the next setting we need to adjust. Set it to half tone screen, although interesting results can be achieved with diffusion dither 2. Set the shape option to cross. The frequency setting doesn't seem to make any difference. Zoom in and see how the image is made up of lots of detailed squares. This output level of 15 has made the image a little too complex, so let's undo and try again. Go to edit and undo, then back to image, mode and bitmap. This time let's try 5. The bitmap effect is much more prominent at this scale, but it's a little too blocky and has lost some of the details around the eyes. Undo again, then try 7. This is about right, there are plenty of nice blocky pixels, but you can still recognise the overall image. Convert the image back to RGB by first going to grayscale, then to RGB mode. Go to image and image size and you'll see the image is tiny because of the bitmap conversion, at just a couple of hundred pixels in width at 7 ppi. If we reset the resolution to 72, it bumps the size back up. Usually upsizing an image would result in horrible artifacts from the interpolation, but there's one setting that allows you to scale up pixel art while retaining nice crisp edges. Change the resample method to nearest neighbour hard edges. You'll see the preview has instantly gone from a series of muddy blobs to nice square pixels again. When you click OK you'll see those tiny pixels are now big square blocks. As a finishing touch add a gradient map adjustment layer. Set the first colour to 281729 as the colour for the darker areas. Then E1, F, E, E0 for the lighter areas giving it a pale green colour. This colour scheme gives the bitmap effect the appearance of an old Nokia mobile phone or Game Boy screen. Pictures like this sculpture that fade to black generate great results because the darkest areas will gradually fade away with more sporadic pixels. Convert the image to grayscale then bitmap using the same settings. An output of 7 is a little too low for the scale of this image. Undo then repeat the conversion with an output of 10 instead. Convert the image back to grayscale then to RGB. Go to image and image size and upscale it back to 72 ppi at any dimensions you want, as long as the nearest neighbour option is selected. Add a gradient map overlay to add some interesting colouring to this artwork. If you want a selection of ready made colour schemes, download my free pack of duotone gradient presets from Spoon Graphics. The final result is an interesting piece of art that could make a great album cover. You can also create some really cool text effects with an old school 8 bit vibe using this bitmap conversion technique. Create a new document to set up the base text. I'm using a 2000 by 1000 pixel document filled with a black background. Lay out your text with the type tool. I'm using Rift from the Adobe Fonts library in the bold style with minus 50 tracking. Click the link in the description to activate it. Double click the layer to add some layer style effects. Remember any fade between black and white will be replicated in pixels of various densities, so add a gradient overlay from black to white. Add a stroke next with white, around 5 pixel in size, aligned to the outside. Add a second stroke, this time at double the size, so it protrudes from behind the white stroke. It helps to set this to grey so you can actually see it and switch it to black afterwards. Add an outer glow effect next, which will make that black stroke visible again by effectively adding a border between the text and this glow. Set the glow to a mid to low opacity. Too bright and the pixels will be too dense and overpowering. Follow the steps to convert this text to a bitmap. Since this document has multiple layers, it will ask you to flatten the artwork first. The output of 10 we used last time definitely won't cut it, 
It's way too low. Undo and try again with something like 30. You can see how all those gradients have been replicated with different pixel patterns to create a detailed 8-bit text effect. Convert the image back to RGB and increase its size. A quick gradient map adjustment layer brings this text effect to life with a touch of colour. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.